viewers have asked, what led me down the path to want to reach and teach through Living Optimally with Pamela Jones? I'm going to share more of that coming up. Now, another way when we're talking about loss, one of the hardest traditions was Thanksgiving for me. Now, that will be coming up in a, in a few months, but just to be able to share, Thanksgiving is a time that families get together and a lot of families have traditions. Well, my parents were one of the main people who got the family together. And a lot of you that have asked me know this about me. And one of the hardest things for me was one year I didn't know how to deal with it when both of them were no longer here in the physical. And I didn't want to go because I didn't want the whole dinner to be about crying. So I wanted to be able to share with you, I made myself, I, even if I wrote a letter or just made a call in advance to be able to ask the family members to just be able to support me and be able to share this moment and allow me to be able to not go with tradition this year. And I want to be able to do that. Now, I cooked a meal that looked like it was going to be for 50 people for three people. So I wanted to be able to get through and I wanted to commemorate my mom and dad in a way that I could without bringing everybody else down. So it's okay. So another way that you can be able to do that without hurting anybody's feelings is to simply just reach out through a letter, email or whatever and just ask everybody to respect your wishes. Now, shifting gears a little bit in a little bit of a, uh, another light, one of the questions that came in was, and this is so funny, is what do I do to improve my patience? I feel like I run out of patience at work. I feel like I'm running out of patience with my kids. I feel like I'm running out of patience with my husband. So notice this is a good time not to use somebody's names. But I also can relate because a lot of people have often said that is, what do I do to get more patience? Well, this is interesting because I always like to start and I tell you, you, you do know that in order for you to be able to measure how your patience is, you're going to have to be tested. So how do you know that you're gaining more patience? You're going to have to go through life and there's a lot of things that's going on. A lot of times you may have more obstacles to be able to come, but how are you breathing through them? How are you centering yourself? How are you calmly being able to take on the things only that you can be able to control? Now, one of my hardest feats was when I went through all of the deaths, and um, you've also heard me say I weighed 75, 80 pounds more than what I do now. But I also realized I was stressed and I was depressed. So how did I get through those particular things with patience because I didn't have the patience? But people say, as far as I can remember, you've always been upbeat and joyful. Mm -hmm.